If you ever wanted to learn Foundry's Katana lighting and look dev software, but felt it was too complicated, then hopefully this tutorial can get you started as quick and as easy as possible. If you'd like to use this Lion Mesh, it's provided for free on learn.foundry.com slash katana. Scroll down to Lighting Fundamentals. Click on Importing and Exporting USD. Click on Course Files. And then download the usdlightsasset.zip file. And lions.abc is inside that file. For the HDRI, you can go to Polyhaven slash HDRIs and just grab a random HDRI for your lighting. And let's get started. This is the main Katana workspace. Under Node Graph, with your mouse cursor hovering over it, hit Spacebar. This will maximize it. Hit Tab. This will bring up all available nodes. So we need to narrow it down. Type IMP for Importomatic. This is the node we use to import the lions.abc file. Hit tab C A for camera create. The camera is necessary for the render. And hit tab G A for gaffer 3. And this is where we will wind up putting our uh, HDRI file. Highlight all three. Hit M to merge them together. Now we need our material nodes and our render nodes. Hit tab M for material. This will be for the metal material. Tab M for material assign. The material assign node allows you to tie a mesh and a material together. And then tab R E for render settings. And then tab D, L, for 3D lights, render specific settings. Drag the out to the in on all the nodes to connect them. Hit the space bar, center the graph. And this is all we need to create the image that you saw at the beginning of the video. But we still need to add our mesh and we need to add our uh, HDRI file. In order to edit this node, you can double click it or you can select it and hit E or you can just hover over the node with your cursor and then just click the box itself. Double clicking is probably the easiest. For the importomatic, we need to add the Olympic file. Go up into parameters, hit plus, hit add Alembic, select your Lions ABC file. And nothing shows up yet, but we'll cover that in a second. Double click your Gaffer 3 for the HDRI. In the main area, right click, add 3D light, environment light. Click on material, drop down for image name, browse, select your HDRI. Accept. Now for the material, we're not going to do that yet and we're not going to assign it yet because I want to show what it looks like when a mesh doesn't have a material signed and you try to render it. In order to see the various elements, you have to click over root, right click, expand all. And the reason why we don't see everything yet is because the scene graph only displays what you flag for it to display in the node graph. So we only had the graph for three selected, which is why we only see the environment light. If we were to click for the importomatic, we'll see the geo. What I like to do is just drop the flag for the scene graph down at the bottom. We wound up seeing everything, but we still can't actually select the meshes to display in the viewer area until we again expand it all. So the best thing I like to do is just set the flag down here at the bottom because it's hierarchical 
and then right click expand all and those two things let you see everything in order to display the scene with the lions this eye right here is for viewer visibility and as you can see we have sub mesh sub mesh sub mesh click click and click the final they're still selected so we have to click outside of the meshes themselves and there you go your alembic mesh is now inside katana the hgri is already applied because we added it but we won't see it until we do the render preview so let's go ahead and do that for render settings double click it It's set to square, but let's show what happens when we try to render it and we haven't changed anything yet. Right click under render settings and click preview render. Takes a second for the render delegate to kick in. 3D delight display. And you can just drag this off to the side. And as you can see, a lot of things about this aren't right yet. Camera's not right. Material is not applied, scale isn't right. So to change those things, first let's make this bigger. Under render settings, you want to change this from square for resolution to HD. And at the same time, which you'll want to do, but I'll show what happens when you don't. If we try to render this now, it'll change the resolution, but the aspect ratio will still be off. Let's position the camera for perspective. Click on that and then click on camera. And that's why it's showing this here. Reposition it using standard alt left middle mouse button like you would in any 3D program. Render again. And as you can see, it's stretching. And that is because this adjustment, adjust screen window, we need to change to adjust height to match resolution. And you can see it changed in the viewer. We'll render this again. And the final thing is, is you can see it has this really garish checkerboard pattern and that denotes that there are currently no materials applied to the meshes. To fix that, double click material, click shader, 3D to light surface, drop down. You could add car paint, glass, we're gonna add metal. Double click material assign. In order to populate these, you actually have to drag and drop. Middle drag material to material assign. And then if you just dragged the mesh, and I'll show it, but if you just dragged like the, the lions, middle mouse drag, it will only apply that shader to that particular sub mesh. And that's because that's the one we picked. If we click geo, It'll apply it to every mesh in the scene. Let's go ahead and just do the lions. Drag and drop them over Add Statements. As you can see, they're right here. Right click over Render Settings, Preview Render. We applied the metal to the lions, but not to the base or to the backdrop. So to fix that, you could do it individually, or we can just middle mouse drag geo up here, delete the previous one, render settings, right click preview, and then now it'll be applied to every mesh in the scene. Now what we haven't shown yet is the live render preview, which is most important when you're applying lights.
because you want to be able to move lights around the scene and then have them reflect in real time to give you an indication of what's going on. In order to change that, we actually just have to change two different settings. Under Render Settings, right-click and select Live Render. Now it's technically in Live Render mode, but nothing is going to update yet. And we can see that because when we move around, nothing changes. It's just like it was doing before. We actually have to change the Live Render Updates area. If you hold Shift, left-click, the first box, it will apply to everything in the scene. And now, when we move it around, does the live render. When I move over the three to light display, you'll notice all these little snapshots. And that's because it was in preview as opposed to live render mode. We'll delete a bunch of these. And if you want a final render, then the last step is to Go to the three delight settings, up the quality, say 512, 64, and 256. And these are all too high. It'll take forever, I know, because it took forever when I did the initial render. You'll want to optimize these to get the quality you want at the speed you want. But now, when we right click, and say preview render, maybe shift click to turn that off. This will be your final render setting. It'll do it at the quality specifications you just outlined. And as you can see, our camera's off. So you wanna position it. See how close this is? And that is because our field of view is off. So in order to get more in the screen while zoomed in, double click your camera create, change this from 70 to 50, hit enter. And it disappeared because that's where I was talking about the scene graph. I could have left it here and then changed it here by just selecting the box. And that allows you to keep what you want visible in the viewer while making the changes on other nodes. As you can see, I can change the camera, I could swap out a different HDR, but nothing is changing with the viewer. So that's really nice. 3D light display is still showing the old preview. Go to render settings or 3D light settings, render preview. It's currently set to one to one, which is why it's filling up so much of the screen. You can just make it a little smaller. And this will be after 10 minutes, 20 minutes, an hour, however fast your computer is, your final high quality render that we saw at the beginning of the video. I hope this helped you out and get you over the at least beginning part of just importing a mesh, applying a material, and making a cool render. Thank you very much for watching the video. Take care.